Greetings. My name is Floyd Christofferson, and today I'm going to introduce you to Hammerspace, a powerful software-defined data orchestration and storage solution that is specifically designed to address the problems of managing data across multiple storage silos, data centers, and the cloud. So what is Hammerspace? It is a metadata-driven solution that is designed to bridge any storage type from any vendor across one or more locations, cloud regions, and or cloud providers. In this way, it is unique in its ability to provide an always-on global data environment that spans them all. It provides the experience of local file access to users and their applications from anywhere to data that may be anywhere. Unlike solutions that manage storage silos and distributed environments by shuffling file copies from one place to another, Hammerspace's unique innovation is the creation of a true global file system that can span all storage types from any vendor across one or more cloud locations. Typical use cases where customers need this include burst to compute, to extend on-premises compute resources to cloud or extending on-premises storage to the cloud in a hybrid cloud architecture, or to bridge the distance gap between multiple data centers to globally manage all resources anywhere. And of course, to provide all of this for distributed users and applications who need the flexibility of local NAS access to resources that may be anywhere. In the next few minutes, I'll provide a quick overview of the key components of Hammerspace technology that makes this possible. I'll outline how this capability can help enterprises address their current data and storage management requirements, how they can bridge silos between incompatible storage types, multiple locations in the cloud, and how this reduces complexity and cost for both CapEx and OpEx. And finally, I'll show you some real-world examples of how our customers have used Hammerspace to help them grow their business. So let's talk about the problem. Whether we're talking about an individual data center or distributed environments across multiple data centers in the cloud, the problem begins when data must move outside of the storage it lives on today. Whether it is because data needs to migrate to new storage or existing storage fills up, Inevitably, the files need to move. Users and applications access files via a file system, which is shared on a network. This is a metadata layer that translates the bits of data on the disk into a file structure that we can understand. The problem is that since this file system is trapped at the storage layer, when the data needs to move to new storage, a new path to the data is, is presented via another file system. Users and applications must now look elsewhere, and data and storage silos emerge. This problem explodes when other storage types are required, such as moving data from primary NAS to an object store or to one or more clouds. Each storage type and location becomes an isolated island or silo with its own pathway to the data. This becomes a huge problem for enterprises. It leads to what is often called data or storage gravity, where it becomes too disruptive to migrate data to another storage type, or certainly adds complexity when enterprises have no choice but to manage copies across multiple platforms and locations. To deal with this, storage administrators often deploy point solutions, which become a kind of band-aid to bridge the silos, whether for copying data off of primary storage to other storage types, or via gateways to the cloud or remote locations, each of these point solutions becomes an administrative burden and adds cost. Oh, and it also adds significant confusion to users. All of this fragmentation to storage, data access, and data services make it difficult for enterprises to best use the data they have, and also very complex to ensure that all copies of data, wherever they may be, are protected and accessible across all different storage vendor types and locations. Hammerspace solves this problem by providing unified access to users and applications across all data and all resources. Instead of the file system metadata being trapped at the individual storage layer, Hammerspace elevates the file system out of the storage layer 
decoupling it from the infrastructure. This metadata assimilation can happen with data in place, with no need to move the data off of existing storage. In this way, within minutes, users and applications, even in very large environments, are able to mount this new global file system, get direct access to their existing data on their existing storage types and across all locations. In this way, silos between different storage platforms and locations disappear. The Hammerspace Global File System is a high-performance metadata control plane decoupled from the infrastructure layer that enables direct file access across any vendor storage type and location. The key here is that instead of each storage vendor trapping their portion of the file metadata into a single file pathway for each one, now the file system metadata is above the storage layer and commonly accessible across all storage types in a global namespace. In the past, moving a file from one storage type to another would involve copying the file and its metadata, splitting them into two copies that would then have to be managed separately and eventually reconciled. With Hammerspace, all users, even in different locations, are seeing the same file via this unified metadata layer. It is important to note here that from a user's point of view, the files are visible as they always were in a file folder structure on their desktop. This is because all users and applications everywhere are looking at the same file metadata, not forked copies. What users may not realize is that the physical files may be anywhere across any number of storage types or even potentially in different locations especially as those files may need to migrate to different storage over time, such file movement is completely transparent to users who simply see the same files at the same mount point on their desktop as before. From an administrator's perspective, however, control of data services can now be global across all storage types and locations via a single pane of glass. This is extremely important because it means that no longer do they have to manage individual vendor silos. Also, they can reduce or eliminate the need for redundant vendor-specific point solutions for siloed services. From a single pane of glass, admins can now automate multiple classes of data services globally across all data, regardless of which storage platform or location it is on. This dramatically reduces complexity for IT staff. And this not only cuts OPEX, but also enables organizations to reduce the money spent on single purpose point solutions. By leveraging the power of metadata, admins can now create objective-based policies triggered by any metadata variable. So this means not only the file age and type, but also it could include custom metadata, which can be applied to associate certain files with projects or cost centers. This enables them to automate actions at a file granular level across all storage and all locations. These data services could include the ability to set objectives about which storage and location the data should be on now and where and when it should move. Again, all transparent to the user. These also include powerful data protection and ransomware mitigation tools that can be applied globally across data on any storage such as snapshots, DR, undelete, file versioning, worm, encryption, and much more. So at the end of the day, Hammerspace enables customers to establish a global data environment to better use their existing infrastructure, reduce the costs and wasted storage of manually managing file copies across tiers and locations, and to enable global data services that can tune existing resources to better match current and future business needs. And all of this orchestration is done transparent to users as automated, objective-based policies performed in the background. Not only does this save money on OPEX and infrastructure today, but Hammerspace opens to customers a way to future-proof their environment, enabling them to take advantage of any storage type or distributed resources that may be available or needed in the future, and all without disrupting existing workflow. To give you an example of this, I'm going to briefly show you how two different customers started from an initial business problem, but over time have been able to leverage their Hammerspace global data environment to rapidly expand their business. 
This first one is Jellyfish Pictures, one of the most respected visual effects and animation studios working on major Hollywood films, based out of two studios in London. We'll see how they evolved their environment to leverage four of the main hammerspace use cases. Initially, Jellyfish had a problem of how to reduce their cloud rendering costs. Since they're based in London, when they needed additional compute resources to render a movie, they were limited to pushing their jobs to their local Azure region. The problem is that because of its location, Azure compute resources over London are much more expensive than if the render could be done where power and cooling are cheaper in Canada, for example. With Hammerspace's ability to seamlessly bridge multiple cloud regions, Jellyfish was now able to route render jobs dynamically to whichever location was cheapest. From a user's perspective, their workflow never changed. They still used Autodesk ShotGrid, which is their job scheduler that pushes the render job to cloud. But because now the Hammerspace global file system spanned multiple Azure regions, the job could automatically be routed to where the costs were lowest. This enabled Jellyfish to save as much as $300,000 on a single render job because of the different compute costs available in different regions, but with no change to user experience. To grow the company, Jellyfish also needed to be able to take on more movie projects. The problem here was finding additional talent near to their London studios. To solve this, Jellyfish was able to stand up Hammerspace instances in the cloud in Australia, India, and South Africa, effectively extending the same local experience their London artists enjoy to rapidly spin up new teams of artists in these locations. This was extremely fast to provision because only the metadata needed to be shared to provide the same local access to data that the artists in London have. Finally, Hammerspace enabled Jellyfish to tie a second Toronto-based data center into their global data environment. Now all users across all locations are able to see all data across all resources, including on-prem and cloud-based resources. This global data environment has enabled Jellyfish to not only cut costs, but also to win new business by being able to rapidly provision and expand as needed. This next customer also started with an initial problem, but also grew to leverage multiple Hammerspace use cases. This is a global online software and graphics production company that had acquired another company and was faced with the issue of how to get those two environments to work together as one. Each had different Active Directory environments, different storage types, and were in different countries. The problem is they needed to share all files in both locations without making copies. They had to be on the same UNC path because of the limitations of their applications. Hammerspace solved this by installing at each location and tying them together into a single global file system that bridged both sites. The applications at both sites saw the same path to the data, even though the data might be in what was previously a disconnected and incompatible remote location. But the problem grew. The company also had a global workforce that spanned multiple data centers around the world, each with their own infrastructure. To accelerate production, they needed to be able to all work together. So Hammerspace deployed across all of them, now enabling a parallel global file system that spanned all sites. All users and applications can access the same data and resources from anywhere. Now projects could have workflows that followed the sun around the world for maximum productivity and flexibility. Their needs continued to grow when they wanted the ability to tie all of this together to include two different cloud providers in different parts of the world. So the environment was yet again expanded with Hammerspace being deployed in two different clouds, tying it all together into a global file system. As we've seen, Hammerspace addresses multiple use cases that are prevalent in siloed storage environments, not only when they have to bridge multiple storage types in a single data center, but over time as they need to bridge to cloud or across multiple sites. This global capability to automate multiple data protection and orchestration services across any storage type and location helps customers reduce or eliminate expensive single purpose point solution. This also saves money on existing storage, reducing the need to expand expensive primary tiers. Instead, they can now seamlessly extend the global file system beyond their existing expensive primary storage to take advantage of lower cost alternatives on premises or in the cloud and without interrupting users or changing file paths. 
This also significantly saves OpEx, with admins now able to automate data services globally across all storage and locations. And at the end of the day, this increases user productivity and enables businesses to take a data-centric approach to managing their storage and their digital assets. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit hammerspace.com to book a demo and see how Hammerspace may be able to help you get better utilization of your existing resources and to grow beyond the limitations caused by storage silos.